This question has a nice mix of some of the more traditional uh, transition words, things like for instance, um, that we are supposed to know, but then some other ones, like in other words, on the other hand, in summary, that you might know, but they don't fit into the kind of most common words that we would see in these questions. But still, let's try to think about dumb summaries and connotations and things like that. Uh, working together with the Navajo Nation Department of Water Resources, Dr. Lanny something analyzed data about snowpack levels in the Chuska Mountains. She found that the snowpack, the amount of snow on the ground, was deepest in early March at lower elevations. At higher elevations, the snowpack was deepest in mid-March. So they're contrasting things, right? We've got uh, uh, low versus high. We've got mid-March versus early March, right? So there's a contrast. So on the other hand, is a contrast work, right? So we don't need it to say, um, on the one hand, at higher elevations, or sorry, on the one hand, she found that the snowpack was deepest in early March. On the other hand, she also found at higher elevations, it was deepest in mid-March. Like we don't need both, right? So I think that's a, a common misconception is that we, we think that we need both uh, on the one hand, on the other hand, no, it's implied that on the other hand is just contrasting with whatever we said. So this is this is the equivalent of but, right? It is a contrast. So uh, to be clear, it's not summarizing, right? Because we're not repeating what we just said. And honestly, that's exactly what in other words does, right? So A and D to me mean the same thing. They're both saying we're, we're about to repeat what we just said in other words, right? In summary. So both of those are wrong. And it's not an example, right? That's what for instance means here. It's not an example of the sentence that came before. It's a different situation, right? One is at the, the low elevation, the other is at the high elevation, different situation. So this might be obvious to you, but um, I think it's just a good reminder that, you know, we, we're always trying to categorize these words. Some of them have their own category. Some of them kind of fit into the normal like, and, but, so, and for example. And so if you can, it's better to think about those because it probably just means that you're more confident in your answer when you pick it.